as a parent you have to maintain the balance between the authority and friendship so the first thing to be done is sit down and have a family discussion on the family rules in your home let your child know what the consequences will be if they break the rules and rules should be few fair easy to follow impossible and positively stated if your child misbehaves stay calm and give them clear instructions to stop misbehaving and tell them what would you like them to do instead for example so stop talking finish your meal first and appreciate your child if they follow your instructions like um, thank you for finishing your food or thank you for being such a wonderful child now let us discuss few examples to understand the skill of maintaining balance some parents are strict and controlling and believe parents are higher in the hierarchy and it and it cannot be an equal relationship they make two mistakes according to them the ideal family is one where the kids blindly follow all household rules and to certain extent even fear the parent the second mistake is that to maintain this position of authority or to be higher in the hierarchy they use distance as a tool they believe distance is necessary to maintain fear discipline and respect becoming nice and friendly would give the wrong message and that would dilute the control but in the long run this strategy turns out to be a mistake because as the youngster gets older they begin to answer back now the authority is gone and friendship was never established so certainly this should be avoided wisdom is about balance become both a friend and a mentor you can balance friendship and authority in one scene mm, uh, let us discuss an example how say the family is going out for a meal what time to go and come back can be decided by parents like an authority however kids can participate equally in choosing where to go just like a friend the idea is that to be a good parent one must exercise authority while still giving one's child as much freedom and openness as possible you as a parent have to balance the role of friendship and authority now we'll discuss as a parent how can we maintain our authority in rule based decisions like uh, no junk food on weekdays or no mobile after 8 pm or you cannot stay out with your friends after 9 pm so first calmly and firmly state your decision clearly with reasons for example no mobile after 8 pm because it is distracting addictive not good for your eyes and it will disturb your sleep reasons make you sound reasonable and not irrational and hence it increases your credibility and creates trust when you give a reason the child is less likely to get offended they won't take it personally and if your reasons are like do this because i said so or do that because i do it that way then i'm sorry these are not good reasons to pursue the authority give reasons which can be validated by other people as well second step when you give decisions it's likely uh, that the child will resist and answer back they might even say nasty and hurtful things so how to handle these kind of situation first calmly and firmly stand your ground look into their eyes and speak politely these reactions are not acceptable you need to talk respectfully if you talk like this i won't even consider your request say this 
and you might have to repeat these statements a few times and then wait give them a look at how this is unacceptable and there are going to be consequences by this the child will understand that i cannot scare my parents my anger and tantrums won't budge them and uh, they won't accept this attitude the very important thing here is that don't add fuel to the fire hold on let them say whatever they want and do not lose control in the moment do not raise your voice show them that you are really strong if they don't talk nicely to you even after waiting for 10 minutes walk away they'll come to you because the decision is in your hands now do not change your decision unless they give a better reason and talk nicely stick to your decision calmly and firmly by this child will realize the only way to convince my parents is with better reasons spoken nicely not with force anger or violence the good thing about this is that uh, when child see no scope for negotiation they accept and adapt but if you leave loopholes they find a way to break the rules so follow through on your decisions with full force make sure to make them apologize for their disrespectful behavior provided you have not said anything bad at the time when your child was throwing tantrums because if you have then you lose your moral high ground if you have stayed calm and firm throughout at the end again with that calmness and firmness make them apologize for their impolite behavior if they don't stop everything by everything here i mean their necessities are parents duty but their luxury is not so all necessities are to be fulfilled but not the luxuries and don't leave the topic until they apologize if they throw tantrums that's okay let them whenever they talk next make sure that they apologize sincerely first through this the child will get a very clear message that if i become disrespectful to my mom and dad i will not get anything from them and if they still break your decisions or if they still talk to you disrespectfully then think of some sort of mild punishment which is in your control like uh, no tv for one day outing plan cancelled or no ice cream after dinner pick your punishments based on your household and child's age but i repeat punishment should be short in time it should be mild in nature and avoid giving unreasonable punishments unreasonable punishments like uh, from now on you cannot meet your friends ever again so now what if they disregard your punishment that's where it becomes a loop then you have to follow all the steps again and if the situation demands make the punishment a little higher this time like no tv for 5 days no outing for this month or if you feel you need help you may seek professional guidance from counselor ideally punishment should be a very small part of your parenting only when absolutely necessary and as rarely as possible finally the moment your child apologize sincerely for being disrespectful become normal immediately act as if nothing happened and tell them how much you love them here i would like to elaborate on the point sincere apologies from the children see uh, if your child comes to you and says sorry and hugs you or kisses you or sits in your lap 
this means sincere apologies they are trying to convey i love you so as a parent you can understand their gestures better and respond accordingly here i would like to share one case one of my client's daughter she tried to scare her parents by by not eating food for two days so her parents clearly told her if you will fall sick we'll take you to the doctor we'll admit you in the hospital but you have to follow the rules and when this girl accepted to follow the family rules parents started a normal conversation and they had their lunch together so the idea is that the child should clearly understand they cannot overrule your decisions and they cannot disrespect mom and dad so you need strength against your child and when strength is used with anger it becomes toxic but when the strength is used with calmness and good reasons it becomes a blessing